Hello everyone, my name is Chris Mackey and I'm an action business coach in New South Wales. Hope this video finds you well and thanks for stopping by and checking it out. To be upfront with you, the, a lot has changed within the fishing industry and I'm not I'm going to sit here and, and try to tell you all those things because you know them better than anyone else. But there still is things within your control that you can 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 do that's going to improve your business and improve, improve your life in general. So, yeah, there's things that you just have to uh, not be happy with, but uh, Mother Nature is Mother Nature, and I don't think that you're able to do much about that. But one of the frustrations when I've spoken to a lot of fishers, particularly young fishers, is that they didn't get into the industry to drive one of these around the ocean. They much prefer to be driving their boat around the ocean. I don't know if that relates to you, but I suggest it probably does. And what you what you wanted and why you became a fisher was that like you wanted the lifestyle that it gave you. You wanted to be able to provide for your family in a particular way. You didn't want to have a boss. Uh, you didn't want to work nine to five. So I understand what the wants that you have for going in the industry. But I also have, have met a lot of people and I understand the mistakes that some have made and that's been stuck in the past. That's been, and the past is a great place to learn, but it's a terrible place to be stuck in and we have to do some and help you shift your mindset around that it reminds me of a story about an elephant in the circus you've probably seen it where a baby elephant starts out with a chain around its foot and as that elephant grows up the the trainers leave the chain around the foot not very humane and yes i hope it, the practice has stopped but uh, you've got the picture in your mind i hope um, clearly as this elephant gets to maturity, it can break that chain anytime it wants to. But the conditioning that happened was that it believes that it can't do anything else and it's tied to that one spot in the ground. And I think that's a, it's a great story. Like, do you have a chain around your ankle? Is there something in your mindset that's anchoring you to the past and stop allowing you to have the business that you really want to have? And it is there to have. So I think that I'd just firstly like to show you the, the formula for success in life. And it's, it's simply be, do, have. Be, do, have. So whatever you'd like to have as a business, I'm pretty sure you know what to do. And I'm not going to sit here today and talk to you about what you need to do because you know that backwards. But uh, there is a benefit of getting really, really clear about what you want to have. But here's the missing element. Who do you need to be? So that when you be and then you do, you're going to equal what you want to have. Does that make sense at all? Think of it. I always explain it to people as um, when I gave up smoking, and you may be a smoker now, but you know, I knew what I wanted to have. I wanted to have uh, more money in my pocket. And in, in this, for my story, the difference was between having a mortgage and not having a mortgage. My wife and I both gave up and that was actually different. So I knew what I really, I was really clear about what I wanted to have. I knew what I had to do. I had to reduce milligrams over a period of time, cut back my smoking, pick the day to, to give up. But what I didn't know at the time is who do I have to be? So uh, I failed many times in trying to give up smoking. But eventually I uh, got in touch with some the right people who introduced me to thinking differently. So uh, I had to think of myself as a non-smoker. I had to do things that non-smokers did. I had to taste my food. I had to enjoy the social interactings that I was having. So when I thought about myself different, when I was different when I that took on uh, the thought, who do I have to be? I have to be a non-smoker and then I have to reduce my milligrams and I'm going to get what I had. 
I, I found it quite easy to, to quit smoking. This is not a non-smoking lesson. I just brought it into reality. So, like, when we come to your business, who do you need to be? Don't, I think that you, you are a professional business owner that owns a fishing business. I don't, I've never met any of you young fishers out there who is anything different. You are professional business owners who own a business. So what's the B part that's missing in your life? Because like I said, I believe you've got the do down and you, you may or may not be clear about the have, but I think the, the part that's missing is the do. Um, what do you need to do? Great segue into my next, uh, next point. I've um, got here three um, actions, three easy steps that you can take that's going to help you with your B. So it starts with number one. What's your goals? Uh, have you written down your goals? This is not BS, folks. This actually really works. You don't go to sea without thinking about where am I going. You just don't drive off out there. You've got your favorite fishing spots. You know your goals. You know where you're going. The same thing has to apply in your business. And then we can align, is your business giving you what you need? Um, do you need a bigger boat to be able to achieve that? Do you need different equipment to be able to achieve that? But if you don't have a clear idea about what your goals are, then it's pretty hard to do. Number two, an action plan. Are you working a to-do list? Now, just imagine if you worked on your business, just did some task 40 times this year. There's 52 weeks a year. and uh, But just imagine if you worked on your business for 40 weeks, just some little task. Would it be a better business today than it was last year? Whatever those tasks could be. If you did 40, if you had an action plan that told you and helped you with what you needed to do, do you think your business would be better or worse? The answer is clearly, Chris, it would be better. And the third thing is your productivity. Yep, that's right. If to allow the top two to happen, happen, then we have to help you with your productivity um, because you're all very busy, but there is opportunities within that busyness to be uh, working on your business. Uh, so we can show you how to carve out some time to make that happen. So at the end of this video, um, there's some links to a, uh, a website where you can download all those templates that you need, all the tricks and tips, plus a whole heap of other information that we've been uh, using as we've gone around our workshops in New South Wales. So get on there and download the templates to set your goals. And here's a, here's a life hack that I'm going to share with you. I'm just going to lean in close for a minute. Do it with your partner. Sit down with your partner next weekend and say, hey, we're going to plan out what we want in our lives. What, what do we really want? Do we want that 20-acre farm? Do you want you know, jewellery? Do you want jet skis? No. Do we want an investment property? Uh, how are we going to transition one day from having a positive work income to passive work income? Because one day you are going to have to retire. Pretty simply it put, like you've got to one day switch from what I call positive income to passive income. How is that going to look? When's it going to look? Set these goals, set them with your partner. Don't try to do it on your own. And the life hack is, I can guarantee that he or she is going to love you even more for including them and not excluding them from these type of uh, thought process. I've, I can guarantee you that things will change after uh, you have that meeting uh, with the him or the her in your life. Put me to the test. I'll actually even give you $50 if you think it's, um, uh, I did sit down and we did go through our goals and uh, we came out worse for it. And our relationship got worse because we didn't understand our goals. So there's the challenge. So you now what I want you to do is grab the information from the website, download it for yourself and do the work. And I hope that uh, you break those 
elephant chains or whatever they may be looking in your life and, and think differently about working on your business and not just in it. You are an amazing, resilient industry that care so much for each other. So I just hope that you can um, get what you like, get what you want out of your business and your life. So it's Chris Mackey. Thanks for stopping by again. Make sure you check on the website and download that information and take care. And I hope to speak with you again soon. Bye for now.